Hey guys, let me show you how to fish a shrimp with a float. Whether you're using a popping cork, a clacking cork, or just a float, there's a couple things that you need to know to effectively fish these live shrimp. So on this rod right here, I have a popping cork. This is my favorite uh, float to use. It does not have any rattles in it. Um, sometimes the rattles, they'll attract a lot of fish, but they'll scare away larger fish, especially snook. Um, so this is a good all around float to use. It's got a little bit of a weight inside, which keeps it upright. You can buy them without a weight, but, but get the ones with a weight. You can feel them, they're a little bit heavier. That way it'll float upright. It won't drift across the surface as much. And also make sure you buy one with a slit, if you can see that there. And that slit will help you take it on and off easily. So we've got our leader here, and I'm gonna show you how to rig this. You wanna match your hook size to the size of shrimp you're using. Most of the time you're using average size shrimp, let's say. This would be considered a jumbo or a hand pick, but I've got this, it's easier to see it's a little bit larger, it's dead, but I'm gonna use this to show you how to hook it. So we're gonna match the hook size to this size of shrimp. It's a pretty big shrimp, it's probably six inches long. So we're using a one-aught octopus hook. If you've got a smaller shrimp, you might drop all the way down to a size number two. And if you go bigger, maybe a larger hook. But you can see this proportionality here. That is um, what you're looking for with the shrimp. You want your hook to look about that big when you rig your live shrimp. Next, we're gonna talk about the rig here. So we've got our hook size. You wanna match your leader to the size of fish you're using. I like to use 20 pound fluorocarbon and if I'm fishing for snook, I'll add a small piece of heavier fluorocarbon at the end so they don't wear through it. But a good rule of thumb, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and you wanna get a length that's about the depth of water you're fishing. So for instance, if you're fishing in four feet of water, you wanna use four feet of leader line, and I'll show you why. When you put your float on, we're gonna use this slit here to slide your leader right in there you want to, to leave off the top about six inches to a foot. That way your bait is gonna be six inches, your live shrimp is gonna be six inches to a foot up off the bottom. So it's a good way to measure. If you keep your leader, the depth, just measure the depth real quick with your rod tip, then cut your leader accordingly. Tie your leader on there so it's four feet deep. We've got four feet of leader. We're gonna put it down about three feet. And then you're gonna put your post in there. That's gonna anchor it in there. Let me fix that. Let me show you another little thing that you wanna pay attention to with these popping corks. You wanna make sure that you pull your line all the way down from that slit so that your line's on the back side of that cut. And then put your post in. A lot of times that line will slide around and it'll come out when you cast, your cork will come off. So this way we know the shrimp is gonna be that far up off the bottom. It's such a good little technique for catching a lot of different types of fish. Now we're gonna hook the shrimp. If you look on your live shrimp, if you're hooking them up towards the head here, there's a black spot right there. That, you wanna avoid hooking that at all costs. So where I like to hook them is across, right in front of that black spot and right beneath this horn here. So you've got this big horn, black spot. So forward of the black spot, right beneath that horn. Just like that. That's gonna allow that shrimp to look really good in the water. He's gonna swim really natural. And uh, you know, it'll last a long time on your hook. Another way you can hook them, but it's, it's not my favorite, but if you so desire, you can hook them this way here. You wanna hook them again, forward of the black spot and dead center, and you wanna come up through that horn, keep it super straight. If you keep it straight, he'll track straight in the water. But, but that's not my favorite way. Let's just go ahead and hook him just like this. And this right here is your, your ideal float rig. Now, if you're gonna use a clacking cork or a smaller float, give me a second, I'm gonna pull one out here real quick. 
like one of these little slip corks. Um, it doesn't matter, you're gonna rig it the same way. You wanna make sure that your stopper or your peg keeps your shrimp from getting tangled up on the bottom. So you wanna keep it, you know, six inches or so from the bottom, that way he'll drift along and he won't get tangled up in the seagrass. Here we go, we've got a live shrimp under the popping cork. This is a super cool perspective. As you can see, when there's very little current, the shrimp kind of drags the popping cork. The shrimp's super active, he's hooked in the head, and if you watch the cork, you can see it right here. We're gonna pop it, we're gonna drag it across the surface. That noise is what attracts the fish to the shrimp. And as you can see, we've got the leader a perfect distance, it's keeping the shrimp out of the grass. And, um, and this is what it looks like. It's just such a cool perspective. There we go, we drug the cork, drag the shrimp, pulled him up on the surface. And now we give it some time, let the shrimp swim down a little bit. He's not able to get into the grass. And he is motoring around. That hook placement is perfect. It's not, it hasn't killed the shrimp, it's able to swim. And yeah, that is just such a cool perspective. So when you're up there on the boat, looking at your popping cork, that's what's going on beneath the water. Okay, so if you're fishing in heavy current and you wanna fish a live shrimp with a popping cork, you wanna make sure that you drift your popping cork back with the current. Otherwise, you're gonna drown your shrimp. And in this video, you're gonna be able to see how that shrimp behaves underwater in that strong current beneath the popping cork. If you just keep your bail closed and you don't keep any line going out, your popping cork is going to stay stationary. And what, what's going to happen is your shrimp is just going to sit there and spin in that current and it's going to be drug up towards the surface. I know it's a little bit difficult to see here. There he is. This was, this was really difficult to film actually in this current. So as you can see, that shrimp is always going to be dragging and lagging behind that popping cork but it's going to look natural as long as you keep feeding line out with the popping cork. And it's a good way to cover a lot of water and keep your shrimp out of the grass. Just keep your bail open, keep paying that line out and drift it back. Great tactic if there's strong current, but just remember, don't hold back on that line because your shrimp will look highly unnatural. 